Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Hi. My name is Andrea. What is your name? My name is Bushra. It's nice to meet you, Bushra. Yeah, so where are you from, Andrea? I'm from the United States. And you, where are you from? I am from India. Okay. Bushra, are you working or a student? Uh, yes, I'm working. I am a YouTuber and a student too, simultaneously. Oh, that's so fantastic. So you're a YouTuber. What sort of content do you create? I, I basically, I have two uh, YouTube channels on my main, uh, my main channel is an educational channel on which I post educational uh, videos. And the other one is my vlog channel on which I vlog. So I hope you guys are enjoying this session. Or if you want to English or अच्छे से बोलना सीखना चाहते हैं अपनी English में और confidence लाना चाहते हैं अपने English communication skills को और improve करना चाहते हैं तो you guys can definitely check out the Cambly app. The link is given in the description box and do not forget to use my code which is twenty two Bushra for twenty two percent off on any three month plan. Okay, so keep on watching. Just personal stories. Do you blog about personal events in your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I vlog about my personal life, whatever happening is. You know, for for say, if I'm traveling to some new place, I'll vlog that day. If I'm doing something new or exciting, it's happening in my life. Yeah, I vlog especially those days. I don't vlog daily because I don't. I I think vlogs are you know to vlog daily vlogging is very difficult because you know you have to share your each and everything that you are doing. So yeah, it is very difficult. Even though I tried to vlog daily, but I failed badly because I am not a person who can, you know, share and show everything that that is happening in my life or in my uh, house. So I quit daily vlogging. Ah, uh, I see. Yes, yes. Um, it can become a bit exhausting, a bit tiresome to yeah. you know, think about content. And yeah. uh, I, I, I thought that it would be very easy to, you know, to uh, make daily vlogs because I used to watch uh, many vloggers and they are doing this daily vlogging. But then when I started doing it, I realized, oh my goodness, this is this is not made for me. I, or basically, I am not made for daily vlogging because I am a kind of person. I, I, it was very difficult for me to choose which part of my life I want to show and which I don't want to show. So yeah, I, I kind of, you know, quit daily vlogging. And also, I don't like people, uh, you know, to just invade into my privacy i don't let them invade into my privacy so i kind of show whatever i want to show them yeah the experience helped you reflect on what you really wanted yeah, yeah. yes so how did you get started my... yeah actually it was nothing but the lockdown uh the corona period actually uh, like anybody else I had also nothing to do. So I was just locked in the house and I have no, I had no friends and also I was not uh, fine physically those days. So I thought of, you know, why, why should I uh, make some videos and post online? So I started making videos and posting, posting on YouTube and yeah, one of my videos started performing well. So I thought of, you know, maybe I should start doing it. So yeah. I, that's how my YouTube journey started. And when I uh, was like, I got some subscribers on my main channel. So I started that. Why shouldn't I start uh, a blog channel also so that I can earn money from that also. But then I started making blogs and I started earning from blog channel also. But then I realized, no, it's not my cup of tea. I can't be working like this. Basically, I was just seeing, I was watching many bloggers and I was just trying to, you know, uh, do whatever they were doing but I realized later that this is not made for me so you underwent a testing phase throughout the process and you analyzed what would be best for your situation and uh, do you want to talk about your followers and how many followers you have or how successful you have become I have on my main channel, I have 174,000 subscribers and on my vlog channel, I have 16,000 subscribers, which I don't take 
seriously i don't make content for them but yeah i'm very uh, much active on my um, yeah main channel the audience is quite yeah the response is quite good i've never thought that i would ever become a youtuber because when i was young or like when i was 14 or 15 youtube was not a career it was not that i could tell my parents that i want to become a youtuber obviously now uh, generation uh, the children are you know they can tell their parents because also their their parents also have that understanding of social media and everything um, our parents were not basically my parents were not very aware of these kind of things they yeah, are started yeah it is going like quite well and i enjoy making videos i never thought that i have this talent or whatever skill of making videos i i never realized it was just a lockdown in which i thought yeah and i tried and yeah it got really very well sometimes we tend to uh, you know i think when we are young we are interested in other things and when we we are at a certain age or i i think with age our talents or skills or the objectives or the aims or the goals also you know kind of shifts or changes or maybe we we get to know ourselves better indeed yes and my and your interests change yeah absolutely i can say that for my have you received a lot of positive feedback because you share this information uh yes definitely they have started making content on like how they can uh, how how they uh, what are the sources what are the sources from which they can uh, you know study for free they do not have to buy any paid course for any particular subject so my audience is like this they appreciate when i uh when i suggest them any free sources or free test or free test series or free books or uh, these kind of things so my uh, my audience appreciates this because i have gained that kind of audience through my content so they reach out to you to inquire about the resources related to your subject of expertise i see that's really great i do i must admit that i do like to use youtube as well to learn new things uh, about subjects that i don't know much about or subjects that i'm currently studying one of those being technology i think it's a very useful tool uh, yeah. to get information and to share information from the <laughs> perspective of a youtuber yeah definitely um, if you had the chance to create uh, an, an additional youtube channel what type of channel would it be it would be definitely a beauty fashion lifestyle related channel because i am very much interested in makeup and and fashion and all of these things but it was it could not happen because i have gained that kind of like people who are you know really very interested in studies and books and education and study tips i wanted to if if that was if making a youtube channel was my conscious choice i would not have made an educational channel rather than i would have gone for a beauty or makeup kind of channel because i am very much interested in these things and yeah i think that some day maybe in future or after like i don't know 10 to 20 years i would definitely make a channel related to beauty and makeup and fashion okay it sounds fantastic um I was just about to ask you what do you want for your future but you somewhat answered that question right now. So we have about 2 minutes left. I'm curious to know with the with the calendar year ending soon, have you made any resolutions or have you set any goals for yourself for 2023? Yeah, I have set goals like yeah. i i have to be away from negative people this is the only goal or resolution i have in my mind ah oh, yes that's a great goal to have by the way how do you respond to negative comments or negative feedback which can be quite um quite an, a, annoying on a platform like youtube and i'm sure that a lot of content creators receive mean comments and negative feedback how do you handle that yeah firstly when i was i was new on this platform i used to get affected very easily but now i think i have developed a thick skin or a steel skin i don't know what yeah <laughs> makes sense so you've grown a thicker skin yes 
yeah uh yet yes sometimes i feel bad i also cry because of the bad comments and sometimes i give back to them i reply back to them you know because not every time we can be sitting and you know just reading the comments sometimes we have to give them back whatever they are saying yeah that's what i do so you don't shy away from the comments and you respond yeah and you've grown a thicker skin to help you get through the negativity i how do you grow that thick skin is it through confidence and experience yeah i think it is because of the time because it's been almost 2 years on this platform and yeah it it comes with time when i was very new i used to get very offended with each and every comment and then it was like it was a routine of daily routine so i thought like it, it's okay Yeah. Okay. Well, Bushra, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today. Um, I I am so happy I've gotten to know a YouTuber <laughs> from India. <laughs> um, I wish you all the best in the yeah. new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye. Bye.